I would practice your normal chest stand like this. Or you could practice it with your feet touching the floor. So now we're going to begin with actually learning the scale. So you're just going to stand up on your knees like this and put your hands here. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to do exactly like you would do for a chest stand. You're just going to roll down like that. Your chin can either stay in front or go to the side. It's up to you, but I prefer going to the side because it kind of hurts your face a bit. Ooh. Yeah. So you just want to practice the motion of going like over to to be able to do the roll thingy. I don't really have to explain it, but just just copy what I do, okay? So you just start here in your position, then roll. And up like that. So you just want to practice that a couple of times, just rolling through your body, then getting the momentum to rock your legs over the top of your head. And the more and more you do that, the more and more you're going to get over and then be able to push up. Like I said, guys, you're going to need a lot of flexibility in your back because your back is basically bending in half. So you're going to need a lot of flexibility. But I, you guys have got this. I know you can do it. So just work on it and you'll get it. So the more and more you practice that, the more and more you'll get closer to your feet actually touching the ground, like this. And basically, what you want to do after your feet are almost touched the ground, once your feet are there, you then want to push off your hands. It's really hard to explain. So basically, you just go, roll down, then kick up. Then you want to push off with your hands like this. Push. So that was quite funny. <laughs> I was trying to speak. I can't really speak while I'm doing it, but basically, you just, as soon as your feet touch the ground on the other side, you use your hands to push off. Okay guys, so here is a more detailed explanation for you. So you're just going to start and then you're going to roll and then your feet are going to go over your head and then your feet are going to touch the ground. As soon as your feet touch the ground, you're then going to push up with your arms and then stand up. And again, so you're going to roll, lift your legs up, put your feet to the ground, push up with your arms and then stand up. So as you can see guys, it's actually pretty easy. 
just as soon as you push up into your bridge position, then all you need to do is come up from your bridge. But if you're struggling with that, don't worry, just go up onto a bridge on the wall and try and walk up the wall standing, because that really helps. But guys, there is actually another way. If you don't want to do the full chest roll and stand all the way up, you could just land back onto your knees again. Really, you just need to aim to get like this part of your foot on, like instead of getting that part of your foot over your head, you want to try and get that part of your foot. So then you're rolling like that and then you end up on your knees again. I hope that makes sense. I'll just demonstrate it for you so you get normal preparation up. Then just go for it. So guys, the trick is you want to keep your hands here. Basically, just think about pointing your toes because you'll go over and you'll point your toes and your toes will go like that and then you'll roll like that. So if you think about it, if you put your toe down like that, then you're not going to be able to roll down as easy. So you're just going to put your toes like that and then roll back on to your knees. if you're kind of getting stuck I guess in your chest stand okay guys so I know this position looks really funny but if you're ever stuck here then all you have to do is just really push off your arms and then you'll be able to stand up so literally guys your hands are like the most important part well after flexibility but you just really need to push off your hands so then you can get around in your chest roll I really hope these tips and this tutorial has helped you guys. Please let me know if it did. And also, if you have now got your chest roll, be sure to try and check out some other variations you could do. You could maybe do two, three, four in a row or something. Try standing up, going on to your knees like we did today. Or you could come up with your own variation. But guys, also please be careful when you're trying this as it could really hurt your neck so please make sure to warm up and cool down your neck after you're finished so guys that is the video and thank you so much for watching i loved having you here and i hope to see you in my next video bye